solve 1 fifth raised to the x minus 2 is equal to 125 raised to the 2x. So we want to use the uniqueness property, which tells us that if we can get the bases to be the same on the left and right, then our exponents will be equal. Right now the base on the left hand side is 1 fifth, and on the right hand side it's 125. So sometimes you can work with just one side and sometimes you have to work with both. This may be one where it's easiest for us to actually work with both sides. So thinking to yourself, how could I rewrite one-fifth? Well remember, one-fifth is going to be the same as five raised to the negative one power. So if I rewrite one-fifth as five to the negative one, these are equivalent, but now I'm working with a base of five instead of a base of one-fifth. So on the right hand side, I can rewrite 125 if I realize that 125 is actually 5 to the third power, 5 cubed. So I'll rewrite 125 as 5 cubed, and then it's raised to the 2x power. Now I have bases of 5 on both the left and the right hand side. So now I just need to, to recognize what's happening here. I'm raising a power to a power, so I'm going to be multiplying my exponents. So this would be 5 raised to the negative x plus 2 power when I multiply by negative 1. And on the right hand side, it'd be 5 raised to the 6x power. Now, according to the uniqueness property, once the base on the left is the same as the base on the right, then we can go ahead and set our exponents equal to one another. So now we just have the equation negative x plus 2 is equal to 6x. And the equation is no longer exponential, now it is linear. So I can just add x to both sides and then divide by 7. So for this problem, it appears that x is equal to 2 divided by 7, or 2 sevenths. You could also write it this way, my solution set is the value 2 sevenths.